No introduction needed for this one. This is an appreciation video for the one, the only, Trevor Bauer. Trevor, if you're watching this, you're probably not, but I don't care. I'm gonna say it anyway. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for, for being great for baseball. Thank you for speaking up, speaking your mind. Obviously it can't be easy. I know that you do get a lot of backlash. Um, Trevor, and, and honestly, just thank you. Um, the whole purpose of this video is because from day one, day one, Trevor Bauer hasn't just sat back. He's been curious, he's been asking questions, and ultimately he's speaking up and speaking his mind and speaking the truth regarding the Houston Astros scandal. So I guess I do have to jump into that a bit. My thoughts, how do I feel about the Houston Astros? They got let off too easily. The Houston Astros should be uh, punished, quite frankly. I don't care if you gotta ban the entire team from baseball. If you knew about the scandal, and if you didn't say anything, um, if you knew and used it, most certainly, I think these people should be banned for life, but of course that's not going to happen. Um, and I think that they should be, minimum, banned for a season. I don't care if you played on the team for one day. Sorry, it's unfortunate, but the reality is, even if you played on the team for one day, we don't know how much of an impact you had. And it is unfortunate because I'm sure, uh, you know, all these uh, different bullpen catchers and all these people who, you know, probably never even got to do anything except for just, you know, catch a bullpen session. Um, honestly, guys, it's just a really sad, um, really sad MLB breaking story. Uh, Jose Altuve, you are absolutely full of crap. What's that? Did you ask your teammates not to tear your shirt? Why was that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm too shy. Last time they did that, I got in trouble with my wife. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, for Correa to say, oh, you know, he has a tattoo on his shoulder, but then the very next day he posts a picture and there's no tattoo at all. Um, there's actually compelling video evidence from Fuzzy and, and, and John Boy and everyone on the internet because the internet is incredible. Um, Jose Altuve, at the start of that game, when he hit the walk-off, he was wearing an undershirt. Right before he has that bat in the bottom of the ninth inning, all of a sudden he's not wearing an undershirt? Guys, like, that's, that's fishy. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of it. So Trevor Bauer, you know, you've spoken up and from day one, you have given your honest thoughts. And I'm right with you, man. Rob Manfred didn't do enough. Um, for him to call the World Series trophy, quote, a piece of metal? Are you kidding me? Rob Manfred didn't do enough, and I know it sucks, but the Houston Astros should probably have to field their farm team next season. Like, this is just ridiculous. Um, I'm telling you all, the Red Sox are next. And I know that I'm always wearing that Red Sox hat, but let it be known, that was just because I went to Fenway for my dad's 50th birthday. Um, of course, I do like the franchise as well, but boy, oh boy, Alex Cora, ugh. I mean, how do you go from hitting coach and then from worst to first uh, by winning the World Series. Guys, this is, I have so many different things to say. And yes, I am so upset at Commissioner Rob Manfred for not doing enough. But I do want to say this. In order to truly get the players to come and speak out, he had to grant the players immunity. Maybe he didn't have to, but let's face it, it wasn't until after he, play, he granted the players immunity that they actually came out and started speaking of it. And that leads me to my next point. That apology, BS. Absolute BS. That was maybe four words, and Alex Bregman and Jose Altuve are like, we are so very sorry. We are so very sorry. The commissioner came out with his report. The commissioner came out with his report. The commissioner came out with, shut up, man. Dude, and I had so much respect for Alex Bregman. I actually spent, um, in the off season, I spent, you know, some good money on Alex Bregman cards and I'm not even sure how to feel about it anymore. It, they, they tarnished the game. The most important thing that you can have in any league, in any sport, honestly, at least in my opinion, is your credibility. We'll never know now if, if people are cheating anymore. Um, players and managers, they're allowed to have iPads in the dugout, but now I don't even want that uh, for instant replay or anything like that because you never know what they're doing. I will never know if, and I mean, the poor, poor, poor New York Yankees, they got cheated twice and the poor, of course, uh, the Dodgers were the real victims. But here's a crazy stat for you. 
Clayton Kershaw, one of the best regular season pitchers. And of course, yes, he does have a history of not quite doing so well in the postseason. But let's all agree, he has one of the nastiest curveball slider combinations. Game five into the 2017 World Series, he threw 54 curveball slash slider combinations. Zero, zero accounted for a swing and miss. This this whole scandal thing, it's it's ridiculous. I think the players shouldn't have been given immunity. Of course, Manfred wanted them to speak, so I kind of give him uh, a little pass on that. And I will also say this, when there's a crime, just any crime, I'll make one up right now. A robbery that leads in a mur that leads to a murder. Who are you going to be more mad at? The jury for, you know, whatever they decide or the guy who actually, you know, shot your mom. I'm not saying that's a good example, but at the end of the day, Rob Manfred had to had to make the decision, but who you should be more mad at are the people who committed the crime and in this case the Houston Astros. It, it it's just I'm surprised I'm not you know, boiling my blood over more. And I know that I'm rambling on for a long time, but guys, I am sorry. The Houston Astros seriously tarnished baseball. We'll never know who's cheating anymore. This is honestly worse than the steroid era because at least they had to hit the ball and they didn't know what was coming. Me personally, growing up playing baseball as a pitcher, I would honestly, and I am 100% serious, I'd rather face someone on steroids than someone knew exactly what pitch was coming and when. I am 100% serious on that. At the end of the day, if you're on steroids, you still need to connect with the ball and it's still gotta leave the yard or, you know, you still gotta connect with the ball and it's still gotta, you know, the whole nine yards. This is, this is ridiculous. Um, Houston Astros still haven't even delivered a good apology. Um, their owner, uh, Mr. Crane, your, I got words for you, but obviously eventually I wanna monetize this video so I can't say it. But for you to publicly come out and say, Oh, you know, what we did really wasn't that bad. It didn't really change the integrity of the game. Shut up, man. Really? And then 54 seconds later? Oh, I never said that. Yeah, bro. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's such a mess, honestly. And then, you know, of course, Dusty Baker's saying, oh, you know, we need to protect our boys. You can't hit them. You can't hit them. Guys, I'm sorry. They're going to get plunked. And then to make matters worse, Yesterday, at the time of this video, the Houston Astros had their first spring training game. Naturally, kids are gonna be kids. They come in with their signs, you know? They're heckling the Houston Astros. What do the Houston Astros do? I kid you not. They steal their signs away. They actually stole their signs. Guys, they stole their signs. After stealing signs. Like, it, you are a Major League Baseball program. Where is your PR? Like, public relations, where is this? I mean, we, we live in Windsor, Ontario, and when the whole Ben Johnson fiasco happened, they had PR. This is ridiculous. They still haven't even given a single uh, apology, at least a heartfelt apology. And I am so upset. I'm going to end this video, please. If you like this, just leave me a thumbs up. Make me happy. Bird, it's okay. No, it's, it's not okay. okay. Here, I got two cards for you, okay? Free. Free on me. Okay? <laughs> Free on me. Bird! That's a Altuve and Carrera card. Bird! Okay, guys, subscribe.